Uh, PM, a question for you. Uh, you've been saying for some time that you, you wanted to have the political succession process uh, settled by the time you, you turned 70. And now that we've got the process back on track, perhaps you could tell us what in your mind the timeline for the transition looks like. And specifically, uh, do you see the handover happening before the general election so that the team seeks its own mandate? Or do you see yourself seek, uh, leading the team into the, the PAP team into the next election? I, we'll do this uh, carefully and deliberately. I'm already 70, and I'm looking forward to handing over to Lawrence once he's ready. Uh, this settling of the succession, we've already taken a very important step in the leadership renewal. One factor to take into account in when to do the transition will be the next general election, which will be due by 2025. I will discuss later, with, I will discuss with Lawrence and we will decide later what's the best strategy for us to uh, fight the next general election, whether for me to hand over to him first, he consolidates, he leads into the next election, it's clearly the 4G team and will be in charge after the next election, or I go into the next election leading the PAP, fight the next election, win, and if we win, after that, Lawrence takes over, and then the 4G team goes forward. It's, uh, it will depend on how things evolve. It's something which we'll decide later on. But either way, our plan is for Lawrence to be the next PM if, if P the PAP wins the next GE, and that has been settled. And the reaction from the public over the last two days shows that I think many people are happy we've taken this decision and are happy with the decision.